Howdy, 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 boys. How's it going? Another game, another day, another game, another Age of Empires 3 day. And uh, this one, it's a cracking, it's a classic. It's an all-time classic of Spain versus Otto. One of my one of my favourites is this matchup's been going on since van the vanilla days of 2005 when Age of Empires 3 first came out. And uh, funny enough, fun little fact, um, Spain and Otto were the... The two best S tier sieves. They were the best sieves in the game when it first came out for the vanilla. So for um, till 2000, whenever the native version came out, the War Chiefs and then uh, the Tad sieves, the Asian Dynasty sieves. These two sieves were the best sieves in the game. Uh, and they've always had that same style, that same aggression, you know, that fast fortress style. But but Otto are more versatile in the fact that they can age two, age three, age four. Um, so yeah, it's always been it's always been a really fun showdown uh, in this matchup. So we'll see what Julian decides to do uh, because it, it, whatever robot we know what robot's going to do, right? We know what his Spain's going to do. We've seen him plenty of times before. He's he's the best Spanish player in the game, basically the best Spanish player in the game, like top ten player. Play Spain all the time. He can play other sieves, but he always plays Spain on the ladder, and he's super super good with it. He just knows what to do. Just, he could do it in his sleep. That man is too good. And Julian, on the other hand. Um, he's Otto, so like I said, they are more versatile Civ than Spain. So the tempo or the the way the game plays can be completely designed by him. Whether he decides to play age two, age three, age four, uh, aggressive, defensive, water boom, uh, not boom. So yeah, I, I think Robot will be led, and he will he will or what he'll do is just try, he'll play his fast fortress and then try to counter. What does he need to play defensively, or does he need to play aggressively with his fast fortress? Um, we could see some revolting and things like that, but, but I doubt it in this matchup. So yeah, so we'll 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 see what happens this game. But a g absolutely great start for Robot Pick, picking off his Explorer, Julian's Explorer, at two minutes of the game. That's that is huge. That is unbelievably huge. That denies the Ottoman the ability to get any more TPs, to get any more treasures, to do any more scouting on the map. If we take a quick look at Julian's scout, see what he's done. What look. He went straight for this TP, and then he went straight for this treasure, and now he's dead. Now he's dead. It's gonna take a, God knows how long, you know, another like minute or so before his explorer gets back um, to 100 HP to it revives again. So he did bring his explorer back within the line of sight and the range of his building, so it will get revived when it gets built. But it's, it's so bad, so bad. We'll take a quick look at what he did get, Julian. So he did get 70 wood, which is unbelievably fantastic, especially for Otto. I mean, any treasure is good, particularly wood and food. So he's he's not going to be overly unhappy, I guess, because 70 wood is a super good card, uh, super good treasure, sorry. It's not the end of the world. He is aging up already. But, you know, but losing Explore that early is really, really bad. And uh, Robot picking up that 45 XP for it as well. He's going to have complete free reign of all the treasures now. He's going to be picking up his 70 wood. Again, fantastic treasure for any civilization, but uh, Spain particularly as well. So, yeah, so this is just already and i always say this about spain like their age one is super fun and you can just bully your opponent in age one and uh, that's one of the reasons why they're just so good because how oppressive they are in age one so yeah a fantastic start by robot there comes the revival it was about a minute from when i said so finally coming up there but it's still weak it's only on 104 xp even when he gets to the age up it'll only get another 100 hp and that's nowhere near still as much as uh robot spain uh robots explorer so um yeah does lose his dog there and that's always a mistake when you when the treasure guardians attack the dog um so yeah but again picks up 70 woods so it's not the end of the world just build another one by the looks of it interesting and uh have a look at uh julian see what's going on here so most of, he's got a mixture of thing and i did see a village go forward are we gonna see that an infamous janissary rush we are oh this takes me back to my 2005 days the classic janissary rush versus the spanish fast fortress it's always been a 50 50 who defends better who attacks better oh god this is this is really taking me back and this is showing my age now as well <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. So first shipment, 
is 700 gold. So it's not like that all in, um, you know, building the barracks with two villagers and then pumping five Janissaries at a time. Shipping five Janissaries as the first card. He's doing this. He's doing this the pro way. So this is all going to be all about a timing attack. So rather than just throwing Janissaries under this outpost and TC. And that's a, that's a scary outpost for robots perspective because that needs to be in his base um did robot actually see this he doesn't see this so oh wow this outpost needs to be behind his tc for maximum defense and that's unfortunate 700 gold is coming in so he is aging up but julian 700 wood getting a market down with this as well followed by 700 gold everyone on food now and look at this Builds, builds five from one of them and oh, i love this only using one one um one village to build this that's the that's brave they're very very brave and very very slow but like i said it's all about the timing here it's all about pumping out these 10 10 janissaries as best as you can so the 700 gold come in now what's going to be 700 food and that's going to be for you know producing janissaries in their batches of 10 still traps coming in as well so not only on top of this he's also booming behind this so 700 wood for that infrastructure, for that extra, for the housing, for the market, for all the upgrades. I love this play. And using that one ex one uh, one hero, uh, one hero, that one villager to build this, is he's timed it. He, he knows how to time this perfectly. So um, he, yeah, Julian is phenomenal with his builds. Honestly, he, he knows how to time everything perfectly. So getting a batch of, how, how many is he going to get here? Three six so getting a batch of six out that's still better than five so that's still better than having just one barracks but now the seven uh 700 food comes in he's likely gonna get a big batch of 10 here and because he's making so many janissaries he's getting lots of experience points so look at this six minute 40 timing he wants to be in robots face around the seven minute mark and that's the round the mark that they age up so you want to hit them when they age up don't let them get any tempo don't let them get that two falconet shipment out and do any damage to your Janissaries as best as you can. So it's all about that timing. So like I said, there's another batch of 10 Janissaries. It's, Janissaries are tough as nails as well. 215 HP compared to 150. It's a lot. That is a lot of extra HP to tank. Going to be taking on these Musketeers. And Robot doesn't want to be losing these Musketeers. Miniman getting popped now as well. But that's... Uh, I don't know. Is he miss... Is he miss timing his timing here he does age up he ages up with the crossbows and that's a that's definitely the right thing to do but now look at this another 10 janissaries or it won't be quite 10 will it? it'll be what four five six maybe yeah so we've got to have another timing of six janissaries so for, throughout all of this he's always he's always had batches of more than five janissaries which is the maximum you would get from one barracks and now with the free delis that's on purpose the free deli timing is always super important because it adds that dynamic of being able to kill those falconets there's not a lot of anti-cav here and the janissaries are just walking right up into front of his face as exactly what they're designed to do i'm not looking at robot screen i want to know when that time is going to come are we going to see five lancers or are we going to see the two vaganets the two vaganets popping out the janissaries go on melee the delis are there just like i said for that flank just to be able to kill those falconets once the falconets go down how much damage are they going to have done uh, that's still a scary mass of janissaries there's no explorer left so he can't make more docks he's already shipped his minutemen Azap's now coming in as well. That's going to be super good for Siege. He does still have his barracks. So he could still be making lots. He could be making skirmishes right now. The three delis are down. The three delis are down. That's super important. But does Robot have the resources? Oh, he doesn't. He does have capitalism in. But oh, no. He doesn't have any, any way of being able to produce any units. And I think the barracks went down. He was trying to build some stuff. Five Lancers pop. I think he bought, might have bought his Explorer back. He did. And now he's going to be making five Doggos. But is it going to be enough? Five Dogs is a lot. But look at this. Oh, my God. Another eight Janissaries or so coming in. It's tough. But the Janissaries are tougher. Oh, the, dogs are, the dogs are putting to work. Classic dogs. Age three dogs of 170 HP. They got more HP than age two uh, Musketeers. <laughs> Oh, you love to see it. And the last doggo makes his last stand. The explorer goes down again. And now we just got a small batch of Janissaries. But 
Uh, four Lancers might be enough to clean that up. If, if he's going to stay there, no, I was going to say, yeah, that's far too risky against TC5. TC5 as well this whole time. Been hitting down these Janissaries, but the Janissaries survived so many shots because they've got that 215 HP. Azap's coming in though, though, against Lancers. That's so good. Like, oh, Julian just has this build down perfectly. He knows exactly what what the build order of Robot will be, what he's going to be sending, and he just has an answer for every scenario. Um, and this is just such a beautiful rush from Julian here. Don't forget behind this. He, no, he's still booming. He's got still traps. He's now booming with five Eurix for five set the shipment behind this. And what does what does Robot have left in the tank? He's still got 10 villagers trapped inside his TC. He's trying to build another barracks, but I, I can't see what he can make here. He needs skirmishes. He desperately needs skirmishes. Lancers are coming in. They could sneak a nice attack against five Janissaries here. But even five Janissaries would do well versus four Lancers. And these are coming to the rescue as well. And yeah, two of them go down. A third one going down now. And this is just, ah, oh, the Botto Rush from Julian. It's magnificent. You very, very rarely see Janissary rushes at this high elo. And it's just beautiful to see uh, one of the best players in the game just have the perfect timing. So... You don't see Janissary rushes at, you know, 2,000 ELO plus very often. But when you do, but when you do, my God, are they the best Janissary rushes you have ever seen. Lancer coming in with the Rodolero timing now. A few more Musketeers and he, he actually went from veteran Musketeers. I'm not sure about that. That feels like a huge mistake. Definitely wanted skirmishes. When those three delis went down, you definitely wanted skirmishes. And I, he's he's putting up a fight robot, but it's I, he just Janissary after Janissary, and you have got to remember like Julian's eco hasn't been hurt by this at all. So it's just constant pumping of Janissaries, and his eco's only getting stronger. Look at this, it's Janissary, Janissary. Now six hundred coin coming in, and look at this, using up all, almost all of his age two cards. He still doesn't have a lot of mass here. TC Fire is doing work. More musketeers coming in. They are veteran. I just can't see and he needs he needs like 10 musketeers here. He needs at least at least 10 musketeers to fight this off. Some villagers going down. But just more Janissaries and just Robot must be thinking it's just infinite Janissary glitch right now. What's going on? His TC's down to less than half HP. And these musketeers are trying their best to kite here. Janissaries go up north trying to chase the hero. Don't Doesn't want to make any more doggos from that. And look at this. Just look. Oh, I'm beautiful. And look at that. It, just, it was just going to be more infinite Janissaries coming in here. 30 villagers. Oh, it was just, just a beautiful timing by Julian. Like moving in at the exact timing with the free deli when the first shipment for Spain was going to come in. Julian knows that timing. It's instinct to him. And you saw when he walked up into the TC with the free deli. That wasn't on. That wasn't by accident. He caught those two Falconets there. And it's not often Robot loses. I've seen Robot defend this type of rush time and time again. But Julian perfectly pulled it off. And if ever you want to copy a Janissary rush. That my friend is how you do it. Very, very GG well played. Ended on 30 villagers. All resources gathered. Military, 77 Janissaries. 77 Janissaries were made that game. And it only lasted for 12 minutes. Guys, that's been one of my favourite games in a long while. I, uh, Janissary Rush versus a Spanish Fast Fortress. It's always a 50-50 game when it comes to that. I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. And I will catch you in the next one. Guys, thank you for your support. Peace.